Hi everybody, I'm Holly Clegg and welcome back to my kitchen. Remember, I told you I was going to start inviting you into my kitchen more often and when I was deciding which recipe to share with you today, I knew, I just knew I had to share with you my mini muffaladas. Now you might have seen me make it on TV, you might have seen it on my blog, but this is one recipe that is so special, so easy, and so good with four ingredients, four ingredients that you have to try and I didn't want you to miss it. I think about it more often during Mardi Gras but I have a confession. Honestly I keep these little mini muffaladas in my freezer year round to pull out for lunch, a snack and uh, oh, they're just good munchies. Great appetizers and they're so delicious. They're from my Gulf Coast Favorites cookbook which includes all your favorite Louisiana recipes that are made healthier and easier for you. So as we look, the mini muffaladas I had to share because they're by the crab nacho recipe, which is also on my blog. I have so many recipes on my blog, but you can see how simple it is. Four ingredients and all the recipes have your nutritional information and your diabetic exchanges. So let's get started um, with this truly one of my favorites. And uh, who doesn't like Hawaiian rolls, number one? Hawaiian rolls, I think, are just so great. There's different flavors or types you can get. You can get the butter, the plain, the whole wheat. I even saw jalapenos. So we're going to start with them here and you're just going to take them out of there. I'm going to show you my technique, which isn't much of a technique, but it'll show you how I do them. Because you want to do uh, one recipe equals, I think, two or three different ones, but I just sort of buy it together. So you want a serrated knife. That's what's important. So we're going to start. I started doing it to show y'all. Okay, and what's great about all my Louisiana recipes, even if you're not in uh, Louisiana, you still can make them. You don't have to be, you'll be able to find the ingredients elsewhere. So you just take them apart, all right? Let's just do it like so. We're going to take this apart, and here we go, like this. Here we go, we'll take it apart, simple to do. And I'm just gonna put the tops over here for the time being. And then you take out your frustrations and sort of go in and punch this down like so. And then you're gonna take, we have four ingredients, our rolls, an olive salad mix, our meat, which is just ham, and I even tried uh, turkey today, just to show you have options. And you buy your Italian shredded cheese. All right, your olive mix. I've had people one time tell me in Texas they had trouble finding the olive mix. If you can't find it, go right at Olive Bar, put it in your food processor and mix it up. But you might be able to find it. I also have a link on my blog where you can order it from Amazon, of course. So there's no right or wrong, but you do drain this and you're just gonna put a little in each one, like so. We'll just do half of them so you don't have to sit here and watch me and it just freezes well. You're gonna see how I do. I'll show you my little ways. And I have honestly bought them in the um, olive, you know, the olive bars and the different mixtures and put them together in my food processor and it works perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And then we're gonna put our, turn it into a mini muffalata or mini sliders. You know, you could do this on those big Hawaiian rolls if you liked. And then you take ham, just go to the deli and tell them to give you very thinly, you know, sliced ham. We're just gonna put this, and I just, you see, I just pile it on, but if you've been around me, you know I don't do anything too neat. I'm in the hurry always. And then I decide to buy some turkey. For those of you that prefer turkey, you don't even have to use ham, or you could even do a mixture. You know, there's no right or wrong in cooking. It's maybe whatever you happen to have in your house that day. You just want to get them to shave it real thin. That's really the catch. And this is your pre-bought Italian cheese. You just glop it on as such. Very simple. I mean, what could be bad? Hawaiian roll cheese, a little deli meat, and olive salad mix. I could have a martini with this. I like olives in my martinis. All right. All right, we do that. And then you just come back and put your tops back on your rolls, just as so. Now you have an option. You could bake it at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. What I do is I put them back in here. We'll just show you real quickly. I start putting them back into the containers. And really, here, these are already made. I wanted to show you. 
And I like to put them in a Ziploc bag to keep them, you know, fresh longer. So I put them back in here. And this is how I freeze them. They freeze beautifully. They thaw out. You can reheat them in the microwave. And these are how they look hot out of the oven. And the cheese just melts. And you have your, all the flavors of your muffalata with your cheese, your olive salad, salad and your ham into one little bite. Great to have. And with Super Bowl coming up or football parties or graduation parties, it does, you don't have to have an occasion. But for Mardi Gras, if you're having extras, I've had a party before where I've made 10 of these or 12 and kept them in my freezer. You heat them up on cookie sheets and you're done. You know, I like to keep things very simple. And if, let's say you need some little festive centerpieces. This is just uh, red beans and rice and you take a little votive candle and put on top. It's so cute, festive, and I recycle my beads, but you could buy beads wherever you are. So my Mardi Gras party menu is to die for. You'll have to check that out on my blog too for chicken and sausage gumbo, my crawfish king cake. And if you had made my king cake with cream cheese filling made with crescent rolls, it's just as easy and just as good. All right, well, thank you so much. Oh, wait, I forgot. I made some chocolate earlier, and I thought, well, let me share these with you. These are the Diet Coke chocolate brownies. Talk about a bite of decadence and indulgence in your mouth. Simple to make with everyday ingredients, and the icing tastes like fudge itself. Mm. So good, so good. All right, these recipes are from Gulf Coast Favorites. They're 30 minute recipes from my Louisiana kitchen, all easy. And I'm gonna put the link because if you don't have this recipe, be sure and share it with everybody you know so you can have Mardi Gras wherever you live.